I thought I'd do a quick video just to chat to you about the implications of having long vacancies in your rental property. Last night I had a long conversation with one of my clients, one of my landlords in Sydney. She's not in a particular hurry for us to find her a tenant because there are some maintenance issues that need to be addressed. And um, she just said to me, I'm not in a hurry to find a tenant, Madeline, so please don't, um, don't, don't be in a hurry yourself to put someone in there. That's fine. That's fine to not be in a hurry. However, there are certain implications when you've got long vacancies. And those long vacancies can cause you not only financial stress, but can put you at serious risk. The first implication is that there's a security issue. When the property is empty for long periods of time, for a month, two months, three months, it, uh, it becomes uh, a potential for vandalism, which you need to make sure that you're covered by insurance. Number two risk, of course, is cash flow. Imagine having a property empty for eight weeks, 12 weeks, you're losing $400 a week. That's a lot of money just to be empty. But the biggest risk, from my point of view, is the insurance risk. Um, and I, I urge you to check your insurance to make sure that you're covered if your property is vacant for long periods. I was caught out once where I thought I was covered, yet ended up being vac vacant for six weeks and nobody had been there. I was informed by my insurance uh, broker that my claim was not valid because nobody had stayed overnight on the property for over six weeks. So there are three very serious problems that you need to consider when you've got a property, that you're an investment property, vacant for a long time. Security, cash flow, and most of all, check that you're covered by your landlord insurance for more than six weeks. For more tips, give me a call. My name's Madeline.